Hi Bruce from Safari and we're often asked about solar on caravans and we've got Salt Earth and Sun here who are down in Tasmania and uh, you can see their solar here. This is uh, live right now in the afternoon and if I move my little cursor here I can see what's happened during the day. So they've had a peak here of about 900 watts today on the solar. But I'm going to show you uh, the results of uh, living long term. So they've been running for seven days here um, and they've taken no power out of the grid at all. Produced 34 kilowatts and used 27. And let's have a look at why the solar that we install on these vans is so successful and how they uh, operate. So um, we're going to open up our advanced display here. Again, we're looking back in time. Uh, this curve here is the solar uh, on the roof and the one below there is the portable solar. So you use the portable solar once and uh, the rest of the time it's coming off the roof. Now there's a couple of things to notice here. Firstly, this starts producing solar very early in the, in the day. So that's 6.35 a.m. on that particular day on the, was it the 9th of uh, February. And it, it kept running until um, 7 o'clock at night. So at 7.06 p.m. it was still producing 24 watts. Now there's a reason for that. And the reason is that we do a very high PV. It's one of our uh, principles that we work by. And in this particular case, uh, this solar is producing around, coming off, off the roof where it's wired up around about 100 volts, and then it finds its MPPT less than that. But you can see the profile here. Now, let's look at something a little bit interesting here. You can see on these three days, there's a little kicker late in the afternoon. And that's also a very careful part of the way the controller is programmed. And so what happens here at this point here uh, is about 2.42, as you can see here, this is about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And what's happened here is the uh, solar, the batteries are pretty well full here, that we'll see in a minute. And uh, then the uh, voltage drops. But we have it programmed in an expert mode to do a rebulk. And this is actually a little rebulk of power, a little boost of power that we put in later in the afternoon. It's one of our signature uh, ways that we program it. And you can see here we've got one, two, three, perfect. This one here is just a little bit softer. This one here didn't happen because it was using a lot of power and didn't go into rebulk, but it's still producing power at, uh, at late in the evening. Now we come down a little bit lower. There's the curves that uh, the, the, the blue one is the voltage. You can see here the peak voltage here is about 70 volts off the roof. That's the MPPT. That's not the actual open circuit voltage. It's a lot higher. And then below that is the current, so the, we've been looking at the power. Let's have a look at what he's been doing here. So you see it, this, he's using 2200 watts here. So this is 100% off the inverter. He's got a 3000 watt inverter. It's all a 48 volt system, by the way, here. And these big peaks here are probably air con uh, plus, it's got to be air con plus uh, induction and uh, hot water. So it, this is an all electric van, uh, the way it's running here. And so these peaks here uh, is pretty much uh, two or three a day are occurring. A bit more than that are big uses of power. Now let's have a look at the batteries here. So this is state of charge. So pretty much over this period of time it started off a bit low back here, which is probably why I put the portable out at 66%. But the rest of the time it's been around 80 and above. And what you see there is that little dip in the middle of the day there. And that little dip, which matches up above here in the solar, in the power yield, is because in the middle of the day, they suddenly uh, turn the induction off. And so the battery drops down, then the solar kicks in again and brings the batteries up and look at this 100%. So you actually get 200% points on the solar, on the batteries here, and in the middle of the day is running the induction. So you can cook during the uh, middle of the day on induction and know that it will come back up to 100 in the way we've done with solar design. You can see there, it's like, uh, it's it's really, really good. Uh, this is just showing the power out of the batteries. So uh, this side's negative. So this matches the AC power out. So you can see 2590 in this particular case, but this is net power. So when the solar is running, uh, this is sort of net power out of the battery. And this is quite a big uh, scale here. That's three kilowatts of that line there. So overall for, uh, Christian and Katie here, uh, the solar is just working so well for them.
they're able to go between 80 and 100 percent and let's have a look at the summaries here uh, they're producing huge amounts of solar um, this is 5.34 kilowatts they use 5.07 so they get a very very clear picture here of overall what the batteries are doing what they're using it's totally electric incredibly practical they've got two kids and um, you know the days of using LPG are all over uh, how good is that